the hip way to zip across cities and soon Chicagoans can join the trend. A pilot program for electric scooters begins in less than two weeks here. Morning Insider Lauren Victory reveals the risks to your wallet before you ride. Crash investigation teams across the U.S. are increasingly called to electric scooter incidents. Looked up, saw my wrist dangling from my arm. They can lead to badly broken bones. Now we're going to put this belt on, okay? And traumatic brain injuries. And try to sit yourself all the way to the middle there as you're going up over the other side. But this isn't a report about the physical risks of riding. It's about the financial impact. With 2,500 e-scooters zooming into this Chicago pilot zone by mid-June, we wanted to know who pays when things go wrong. A scooter user's medical insurance will usually cover at least part of a fall. But what about bills for rider-caused injuries, damages, and lawsuits? What does that mean for the scooter rider? So the terms of service for the scooter companies that are coming to Chicago specifically say that they bear no responsibility for injuries. We find that troublesome. Attorney Bryant Greening of Legal Rideshare assessed my flurry of wallet what-ifs, like what if a user dents a car or smashes into a person on the sidewalk? The scooter company is going to put their hands in the air and say, it's not our fault. What if the scooter rider doesn't have insurance? Then the injured person is responsible for their own medical treatment. What if somebody trips over a scooter that fell over on its own? The companies would say that that's the last user's fault. The last user is the one who left it there, therefore they should bear responsibility. That's crazy. Bicycle ride sharing companies like Divi also put liability on riders, but Greening argues there's a difference because people generally know how to ride bikes. What we're seeing with the scooter companies is that people are not trained, people are riding rec recklessly, and people are running into pedestrians in a, in a way that we don't see with the biking companies. So if you're going to bring scooters into the city, you need to teach people how to use them. So I expect this to be a fast growing uh, area of, of law in the state of Illinois. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. And it could definitely cut down on the people who use Uber and Lyft. The city proudly tells us it is requiring scooter vendors to have one of the highest general liability policies in the country. Greening says that's good, but that policy may or may not provide depending on the case. He adds the technology is so new that a lot of these legal issues haven't been sorted out by the courts just yet.